Hi, this is Kevin Phillips, aka Kevman3D, and in this quick tip, I want to show you an approach I use to uh, model conduits and pipes for my hard body modeling. Um, I tend to use sub patching and a box. Now, traditionally, I used to use uh, a disc and a spline, but um, Rail Extrude I found didn't give me the results I wanted. Or it kind of did, but I had to spend a lot of time cleaning things up. So let's get started. I'm going to put a uh, pipe in this little inset here that runs along and up and out the other side. So to start with, I use the box tool, and in the back view here, I'm going to drag out like the cross section of the pipe I plan to uh, create. Okay, now it's very important that I remember the width and the height. They should be even because I want a round pipe. So five millimeters good number to remember. Okay, in the side view here, I'm going to just uh, drag the pipe out to about here. Okay, and let's just drop the box tool. Okay, I'm going to this viewport. And I want my pipe to kind of come out here and go up and across. So I'll select this poly on the end and I'll go B for bevel. And I'll bring up the numeric options. And what I want to do with the shift is type in the same amount um, that the box size was, which is five millimeters. Okay, and this just keeps things nice and even. Okay, I go in here, I want my pipe to go up. So I use the bevel tool again. This time I don't have to worry about the five millimeters because it's going up this far. Let's get bevel again. This time I'm going to type five millimeters in to give me my next corner. And I'll select this one. And I'm going to go and bevel that and take it right to the end there. To about there. Now I'm going to hit the tab key to sub patch that and you'll notice that it looks kind of more like a bad lightning bolt. And that's um, primarily because it's rounding or it's sub patching curved this way because we've got edges that are quite far apart. Now if you have used sub patching before you know that the closer the edges are the sharper the curves so in here when I hit the tab key I'm getting this kind of curve in here but between these edges I'm getting the wide curve so all I need to do to make these nice sharp corners of my pipe is use the knife tool and literally just make a cut there make a cut there okay do another knife to a vertical one here and right click one about here. Then when I hit my tab key, much nicer. Very cool. Now the ends obviously don't look the best, simply because they're capped. So I've got a poly on the end there, and that means it's sub patching or rounding the tip. So let's turn off the sub patch. I'm going to select both ends. And what I want to do is I want to create, let's go down here. I'm going to create like a little, um, well I'll show you what it is, it's kind of a little connection into the side, so it's not just a pipe jamming through the wall, um, it's got some kind of a, 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 a connector at each end. So I've got both ends selected, I'm going to zoom into one end, use a bevel tool, and to make this sharp I'm going to click and drag up to make a tiny one there, right click and make another bevel, drag to the right. Then right click and drag up just a little because I want this to be a nice sharp corner as well. Then I right click one more time and I'll drag the mouse all the way up until it goes outside. Okay, I'm also going to push the delete key to get rid of this last polygon so it's not capped, otherwise I get this kind of blobby look. Okay, when it's open it just can't smooth it, so it just becomes nice and sharp. So let's push delete. Oops, and there it is there, and I've hit the tab key. Okay, a little hard to see from that view, but in the perspective view here, got a nice looking pipe that goes through. Much easier and kind of much more controllable. Now let's say I want to make another, maybe a looping pipe that comes in, goes down, and goes back out. Okay, rather than, uh, I could do it with a box. Okay, but uh, I'd have to kind of do a bunch of bevels. Now a quicker way to do that is to go create box. Okay, so I am using a box. Let's not sub patch it for a sec. I'm going to drag out kind of an area that represents 
my cable and my pipe. Okay, so this is going to have my pipe going in. I'm going to have a pipe that goes across, down, and back out again. Okay, drop the box tool, and I'm going to use the bevel tool in here. Click and drag to the left until I get a pipe roughly the thickness that I'm after, and that looks pretty good. Okay, can delete these two polys. It's going to be this kind of uh, U shape. And I'm going to select these points. I'm going to use control, the stretch, t uh, the stretch tool. Hold down control and drag to the left to flatten those down. Okay, if I hit the tab key now, you see that it's got this kind of funky U shape. Okay, so same thing in here. If I use the knife tool, put a cut there. Cut there, cut there, get this nice sharpish corner. Okay, I can uh, now take this geometry and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude it. So Shift E and then I drag it until it's roughly the depth, same depth as is in height. Okay, I'm going to move this back out like so. Okay, it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take the ends. I'm going to bevel it up. Right click, bevel it left. Right click, drag up. And right click and then just drag up until it goes out the sides. And delete. Sub patch that. And there are my pipes. Now obviously you can do a lot more uh, advanced stuff if you were uh, to do lots of bevels, you can create quite complicated looking pipe work and everything else. Um, just got to remember to have the same width and height and depth for all your uh, boxes here. So I hope that uh, gave you a few ideas there. Uh, pretty straightforward, uh, much easier uh, to do than some of the other methods and uh, I'll see you in the next video.